welcome dear viewers to the video on polymorphism in pharmaceuticals and in this video we are going to learn about the polymorph retention and polymorph conversion so why polymorph retention is required why polymorph get converted and what are the effects or impacts of the polymorph conversion onto the pharmaceutical formulations what are the parameters affecting the polymorph conversion those all the basic things we are going to see in the video so i request you to be with the video till the end so that you can get good idea about the topic see drugs may be present as polymorph or in multiple crystalline forms or drugs may be in the amorphous form drug may also be present in the pseudo polymorphic form or solvent form hydrate form or anhydrous forms so drugs are present in the different polymorphic forms polymorph retention and polymorph conversion are critical aspects in the pharmaceutical industry in the pharmaceutical development and in the manufacturing if drugs have multiple polymorphic forms that time polymorphic conversion and polymorphic form retention becomes very very important and why this become important because the polymorphism has impact on to the drug solubility drug stability uh, then dissolution rate melting point and stability drug substance processability as well as processability of the formulation and in turn the solubility and dissolution affects the bioavailability that's why polymorphic form has impact on to the safety and efficacy of the formulation if you see solubility that time you should know that different polymorphs have different solubility rate different dissolution rate some polymorphic form dissolve faster some polymorphic form dissolve at a slower rate for example amorphous form of the drug dissolves at a faster rate compared to the crystalline one then melting point is different for the different polymorphs some are exhibiting the higher melting point while some polymorph of the drug have low melting point the polymorphs differ in the stability also some polymorphs are stable under the effect of temperature pressure humidity while other forms are not that much stable and these may get converted to other polymorphic forms or other amorphous forms so these parameters are very much important because these are directly linked to the safety and efficacy of the api and the formulation different polymorphs have different processability different physical properties and also different polymorphs have different bioavailabilities so polymorphism is very critical for the pharmaceutical formulations now we will see what is polymorph retention in the pharmaceuticals retention means retaining the original form or polymorph retention is the ability of the specific polymorphic form 
to maintain the same form throughout the drug development process from formulation and manufacturing to storage and administration it is a broad definition simply if the same polymorphism from initial to the storage and till the administration of the doses form that time polymorphism is retained and if polymorphism is retained that time the drug substance and the formulation can behave in the same way when it was manufactured when it was stored and when it was administered so you can give the guarantee for the same therapeutic effect and the safety so polymorph retention is required now see which parameters are there which have impact on to the polymorph retention so manufacturing process composition and excipient interaction storage conditions and stability of the formulation age of the api and the age of formulation impact of moisture and humidity along with temperature and formulation design these all are the critical aspects for polymorph retention the manufacturing processes for solid oral formulations involves granulation techniques like wet granulation then dry granulation then it involves drying it involves compression so milling all these manufacturing processes have impact of the temperature pressure sometimes solvents are used in the manufacturing process that time these effects of the manufacturing process can have impact on to the polymorph retention as well as the conversion then excipient interactions some apis and excipients interact and can lead to change in the polymorphic form so polymorph stability or polymorph retention is required to be tested then storage and stability conditions mainly temperature and humidity exposure to moisture can impact the polymorph retention as well as polymorph conversion always have a long term stability data and accelerated stability data to study the change in the polymorph of the drug substance some polymorphs have hygroscopic nature some polymorphs may not have hygroscopic nature and depending on to the impact of moisture and humidity these polymorphs can get impacted then formulation design sometime the polymorphic form is converted into amorphous form sometime the api is dissolved into some uh, carriers like polymers or if you consider the soft gelatin capsule that time oily vehicles are used sometimes co crystals are formed so whenever this formulation design is there the impact of formulation design should be critically evaluated sometime the polymorph conversion may happen because of the excipients in the formulation specific design polymorph conversion occurs when one polymorph can convert into other polymorph so mainly manufacturing process composition storage condition age of the formulation and the api humidity and formulation design impacts the polymorph retention then coming to the polymorph conversion what is polymorph conversion so conversion means change of one polymorph to another polymorphic form or change of amorphous form to crystalline form or crystalline form to amorphous form also increase in the residual crystallinity in the amorphous form is the polymorph conversion now if you see which factors are contributing to the polymorph conversion so mainly are the temperature changes and temperature variation 
मॉइस्चर एक्सपोजर मैकेनिकल स्ट्रेस सोलवेंट एक्सपोजर इन द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेसेस एंड पॉलीमॉर्फ स्टेबिलिटी दीज आर द मेन फैक्टर्स ऑल्सो यू कैन सी द फैक्टर्स विच अफेक्ट द पॉलीमॉर्फ रिटेंशन सेम फैक्टर्स कैन बी कंसिडर्ड एज पॉलीमॉर्फ कन्वर्जन फैक्टर्स सो ड्यूरिंग द manufacturing process there may be a effect of solvent like in a wet granulation effect of solvent will be there and it may lead to formation of the different polymorphic form temperature change and temperature variations moisture exposure humidity exposure mechanical stress like milling and compression processes in the solid oral formulation may lead to the change in the polymorphic form also api milling or micronization nanonization can impact the polymorphism so these are the factors which can lead to polymorph conversion see what will happen if there is a change in the polymorphic form so it will lead to change in the bioavailability and altered release profiles altered stability and shelf life and there will be regulatory issues if there is a polymorph conversion in the formulation regulatory filings are mainly based on to specific polymorphic forms many of the times patent related infringement non infringement will be there based on to the polymorphs and polymorphism so polymorphism polymorphic form retention or conversion will play a great role in regulatory filings so in short change in the bioavailability change in the release profile change in the stability or degradation will happen or may happen which lead to change in stability shelf life and regulatory issues are the main parameters which get affected due to polymorph conversion now if you know about the polymorph retention and conversion then you should also know about the techniques by which you can detect the polymorph retention and polymorph conversion or techniques through which we can characterize that whether our formulation is showing polymorph conversion or whether it is retaining the original polymorph so xrd or xrpd is the very well known technique that is x ray powder diffraction used to characterize the polymorphs microscopy third stage microscopy is also used dsc is the technique which measure the effect of temperature on to the behavior of the different polymorphs solid state nuclear magnetic resonance is the technique thermogravimetric analysis is also there that is also known as tga then ft ir is also there and raman spectroscopy is there to detect the different polymorphs always try to have good understanding about the polymorphism always have the data of stability which can indicate you that whether the polymorph is being converted or whether it is being retained at the accelerated and the room temperature or long term stability condition i have made some other videos on to the polymorphism in pharmaceuticals so i request you to go to those videos to have a good understanding about this topic this is generally a lesser known concept in the pharmaceuticals but it has a great impact if you consider the non infringing apis if you consider the non infringing formulations so polymorphism has a great value as a pharma professional we should know about the 
polymorphism in pharmaceuticals and we should know about the polymorph retention and conversion i hope you might have got good idea about the concept thank you for watching the video and i request you to please do like share and subscribe to this channel also share these those videos to your friends and colleagues thank you for watching the video